on Pulau Payau. So our plan today is to show you some beautiful landscapes and some images that you might not imagine are only a two hour boat ride from Jakarta. Now, I will confess that last night I was up all night projectile vomiting. So when I learned that the boat was overcrowded and we had to sit on life jackets on the way here, sitting on a pile of life jackets, let me just tell you, I'm empty in the stomach, guys. We are pushing it to the limit today. That being said, hopefully we can get some good drone shots and find a way to make this vlog because it's gonna be hard for me to vlog from the inside of a toilet. So I'll do the best I can to show you guys the island. We are only two hours from Jakarta. In fact, the jetty which we took off is in Jakarta. Yes, So we are we're, still in Jakarta. This is technically Jakarta? Yes. This island is technically Jakarta? Yes. Did you know this was Jakarta? Okay, that's the name of the vlog today. That's the idea of the vlog is showing you a place you might not imagine as Jakarta while simultaneously trying not to crap my pants. Okay, let's explore. Pulau Payau. Yo. Are these real? It looks real it's because real, it's got right? like a... Uh... And the pores. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. This is a clam shell? This is the world's biggest clam, no? I can't even move it. Oh my God, it's so big. Is it real or is it concrete? Let me know guys, if you know if this is real or not. Do you know clams could be this big? Is this even a clam? Seashell? Look, it looks real. Oh, it's I think it's hiding. real, I think it's real. As, as, big as, a, 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 as big as a, 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 a basin to wash a baby in. Yeah. You can wash a baby in that clamshell. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. And the pearl as big as a soccer ball. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, guys. <laughs> wow. wow. Blue water in Jakarta. <gasps> There's your thumbnail right there. This is Jakarta? <laughs> wow. And I think there's a resort around the corner. So let's yeah. go explore the resort and see if we can get some uh, stomach friendly food. Whoa. This is nice. It doesn't even feel like a beach anymore. It feels like a cabin in the, in the woods. <laughs> this is very sort of Canadian if you change all the plants, but just the feeling of it with the wood sort of cabin in the trees. Now, technically, there are residents on this island, like people who live here full time. Yeah. But I think the resorts are starting to go up. We've seen a lot of construction. We've even seen a gigantic, uh, what do you call this, front end loader, <laughs> excavator, that was scooping out white sand from the water. And my guess is they're going to bring the white sand to the resort somewhere and make it more beautiful. And I say more power to them because the feeling here is it's not yet world famous and there's not people all around. Yes. It's like empty and quiet, That's right. but it has some serious potential. You guys saw the watercolor. So let's go around the horn here and check out the resort because uh, so far so good. Been a pleasant surprise here to be in uh, tropical paradise in Jakarta. <laughs> good. So naturally, part of this vlog will be to show you guys the incredible beauty because I guess most people from Jakarta know this is Jakarta, but I think our YouTube audience, you guys who are not from Jakarta, I think you don't realize, like me, that there is this really beautiful blue water in Jakarta. But another part of this vlog will be some sort of investigative journalism. Because we don't know what to expect in terms of the accommodations. So it says guests only here, but you can see it's sort of like glamping. Uh, maybe a little bit nicer than glamping. And there is a villa over here that looks really, really nice. So we are sort of learning about what the resorts are like here because I think this is a relatively new idea to most people who are not from Jakarta. And I guess right out front of the nicer than glamping but not an entire villa type accommodation, <laughs> yeah. uh, you've got the private beach for yourself. So the watercolor is amazing. Uh, the beach has got that white sand, although there is a lot of seashells, but it looks amazing and I think there's more than a few spots 
you can find with no seashells and you can go swim and so we figured you guys might like this vlog because sort of unexpected in Jakarta <laughs> so I'm not sure how big this island is I think we'll just keep exploring keep walking around on the shoreline yeah. and see how far we can go because uh, so far it's been interesting let's explore let's explore Jakarta baby Jakarta baby wow here we are guys the tiny but seemingly quite vibrant community and don't blink or you'll miss it because it's about 200 people in this community which really speaks to the size of the island so the entire island is like 20 hectares and it's literally just the resort we showed you this little village and then one more building which i think is a restaurant maybe we'll go there soon for lunch but one thing i love about this island is there's a sort of natural pool created by a little sandbar with trees on it and it's the line where the ocean blue stops and the beach blue starts so in the pool is just absolutely beautiful and it's surprising that it's so empty here because this <laughs> island is really beautiful sort of reminds me of Lombok when Ivana and I were in Lombok five years ago now to be clear Lombok is much bigger that's right but Lombok was empty and very beautiful and we were predicting Lombok would become more and more popular and I think today Lombok is quite popular Yes. So my prediction is in five years or ten years this little tiny island will be way more happening and that pool out front will be full of paddle boards and kayaks and canoes because there's no waves in there and it's kind of ideal for gentle water sports. And so there you have it. That's the whole community. School. This is a school at the end of the uh, street. Maybe a little shop here Apparently and that's the whole community. School of a 200 people island. It's an amazing thing I, I think about all the time is would I rather live in a place like this or live in the city? It is totally different lifestyle oh. of upbringing. There's pros and cons to both. Right. But imagine being born and raised in a tiny community of 200 people yeah. where there's chickens in the street. You know, it's in my head it's quite romantic and I think I would like it. <laughs> Although it presents its own challenges naturally. But like I said, I would guess that uh, this island will be very popular for tourism. Naturally, you have to land in Jakarta and deal with Jakarta traffic yeah. and then come here. That might be a deterrent because in Lombok, you can just land in Bali and then it's pretty tourist yeah. friendly all around. But uh, the place here is really beautiful. The water out front is amazing. And uh, I can't wait for that pool to be full of paddle boards. And even a little island in the pool will have like a, a pop-up shop for cold drinks. Oh, that you can would be so nice. paddle board up and buy a cold drink and island just time in Jakarta? how you wow. do and keep it moving. Island time in Jakarta could be something special. So with that, maybe we'll go for some lunch. What's here? Uh, pisang goreng. Pisang goreng. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Pisang goreng. Actually, the best pisang goreng in the world is Indonesia. Wow, it's yeah, true fact. They get right. the best fried bananas here. <laughs> and they have all kind of uh, drinks, cool drinks. He'll mix it up for you and put some ice. Ah, uh, <laughs> very nice. Maybe we'll go. Uh, maybe we'll. <laughs> so uh, cute. It's so nice. Hello. Island girls. Island girls. Hello. <laughs> the best. Okay, maybe we'll go uh, have some lunch now. Yeah. I love these small island life days. Yeah. Island life in Jakarta. Who would have guessed it? There is actually a homestay here, guys. Look at the sign right there. Sarian, Sarimana Homestay. If you guys don't want to stay in a resort, you can also stay in this homestay inside the residential kampung area. It's an island kampung. So there is a school at the end of the street and there is a clinic right here. Wow, and a little warung there. And the mosque right here. It's like a complete island. I love it. I love this Kampung Island life. <laughs> Alcohol-free lemon lemonade. Wow! And by the way, what the heck is you want to drink in? It's a lemon yogurt. If you pick this up right now, the drink would overflow. Ooh, okay. This is full of liquid still. Yeah. It would overflow. Okay, I gotta drink it first. Ticking time bomb. <laughs> hey, time to relax. Time to relax.
there's a turtle. Ah, my turtle. Gotta say, this must be the best place in Jakarta for sure. Wow, I grew up here until I was 14 and I didn't know even about this place. Why? It's like so hidden. It's like a hidden gem and now everyone is starting to discover Pulau Seribu and it's starting to get busier and more resorts are developing so hopefully they will still take care of this Pulau right here. Look at this. Look how blue the water is. I can't believe my eyes. I'm in Jakarta still. We are off-roading out here, walking along the ocean and pool divider as Ivana stand up paddle boards in her clothes, displaying supreme confidence that she will not fall and get all her clothes wet. Good job, <laughs> Ivana. So I guess the reason they built this wall is because there's actually a nice restaurant here. And I think without the wall, the waves would be pretty intense. Yeah. So this makes it very swimmable. Now, the reason I came out here is because we just saw a huge turtle. Ivana was screaming from the paddle board, stay a turtle, stay a turtle! Like so it was just swimming along over here. Uh, we don't have anything to show you the scale of the turtle, but take my word for it, it was a very big turtle. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to go in the water today <gasps> because of my stomach issues. And so I will not give you a full beach review. You guys know how we do beach reviews, five points for the vibe, five points for the physical beauty. I can't do a beach review if I didn't go in the water. Yeah. I feel like it's a bit much. That's right. But I will say this, we learned that this island is one of many islands known as Thousand Islands. Yeah. In fact, there are only a few hundred, but Thousand is a hyperbole for effect. <laughs> so if you don't think this one is built up enough for your liking, I'm sure there are many more many, that have many, many different vibes, many. completely wild to completely developed. Yes. This one is on its way to becoming more developed, That's but right. it's still in the construction process. Yeah. Although I had a good time today. Me too. I actually enjoy this. I love paddle boarding. I like, I like SUP. Shout out to Sarah Poo. Oh, shout out. <laughs> I uh, like this. I'm actually pretty good at it, no? You're killing I'm it, babe. I'm good at balancing. When I saw you go on your clothes, I said, wow, that is a step up. Because <laughs> usually when you started, you were in the water more than on the board. In my head. I'm not going to fall today. Good work. I'm not going to go at it. Although if I did, I would be okay. Or if I'm going to fall later on, I'm going to be okay. No problem. Yeah. The water looks very inviting. The color just jumps off the screen. And uh, we've showed you guys the whole island. It's one restaurant, one resort that's kind of glamping, and the town. We got a little pool here. And yeah. we got a little pool here. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching our video. I will say this to end the video. If you look at the island from the sky, it <laughs> sort of looks like an ice cream cone. <laughs> it really does. Wow. So it's about time somebody made an ice cream shop on this island, I would say. <laughs> ice cream shop with cones. Maybe you. Maybe me. Maybe we can do Canadian ice cream. <laughs> Cold Stone Creamery. Okay, I'm about to get splashed by these gigantic swells. So thanks for watching our video. Hopefully in the next video, I will not be uh, bubbling. Ivana says, love you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye, everybody.